Hey YouTube and hello to my fellow Simmers, Barbara with the Plum Barb here and I have a yes Sims related video but this is a pretty fun one. EA has their own Sims 4 quizzes and I am going to take the Sims 4 personality diagnostic but first we're going to watch this little video and see what it's all about. This is super cute. So let's take the quiz. My dream job requires my own private helipad, a little chemistry, meeting a lot of interesting new people, masterful bulldozer skills. Let's say interesting people. Which of these items would you rather wear? A suit, a studded collar, your heart on your sleeve, or a hard hat? Studded collar, duh. What is your ideal place to woo? <laughs> okay. In a mansion I built with my own two hands in my bed, anywhere in public, in a rocket ship at 300,000 feet. Uh, let's go with bed. What is the greatest thing you can do with your life? Build a better world, make woohoo with everyone, set stuff on fire, disregard Sims, acquire simoleons. I love this. Which of these emoticons best describes you? Smiling, angry face, blowing kiss, sleepy eyebrows. Sleepy. What are these sims thinking about right now? Everything stinks. We are awesome. All we really need is some loving. Huh? Uh, they're awesome. What kind of beverage are you? Milkshake? A seething cauldron of rage. Yep, don't even need to read the other ones. The man is giving the woman a cow plant because he loves her. He had it laying around the house because it's a weirder type of flower. Everyone knows that milk tastes better right from the cow plant. Yep. Which of these objects would you want to receive as a gift? A violin, tickets to the opera, a sandwich, a sandwich. Which of these most tickles your fancy? Universal critical acclaim, sexy tickling, VIP section, staycation. Yep. Okay, so I am an angst ridden artist, passionate and creative. It's about time the world recognized my genius. I can agree with that. Why won't the world recognize my genius? Well, I need to find some good friends for emotional support and inspiration. And who knows what weird revenge you might dream up. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to take this right here, Angst Ridden Artist, and I am going to turn it into an awesome sim that I'm going to post on the gallery. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so it is time to make our Angst Ridden Artist. I've got Punk Polly here. She's one of my newest and most beautiful creations. And we are going to switch her up and make her into a little Angst Ridden Artist. So let's start with our aspiration here. We're going to go to creativity. And let's do Paint Extraordinaire because what Angst Ridden Artist doesn't want to be a painter? Let's delete Ooh. all of her <laughs> all of her traits here. That was weird. And let's add some angst-ridden traits. So we're going to add creative. Let's add art lover. Let's make her a little crazy and we'll make her erratic. Whoa. <laughs> this screams angst-ridden artist to me, but let's change her look up a little bit. So I removed her jewelry, including her septum piercing and her makeup. I like the hair um, because it doesn't necessarily look erratic. It's very pretty, but it's um, a little bit more voluminous. And I don't know, that just kind of screams artist to me. Let's change up her clothes, though. I'm going to look at the style looks and see if there's anything in here. This looks kind of artisty. Relax life. Viru. Jubby. Zoppin'. Yeah. So we've got tats. We've got this sort of laid back look. Kind of looks like it was thrown together. Maybe she's really into her work. So she doesn't really have time to put too much thought into what she's wearing. 
let's do something bold for an artist. I'm gonna choose this dress because I feel like an artist might want to make some sort of statement, you know? But let's change the shoes to white. You know, I have no idea if an artist would even wear that, and each artist is different, but I'm just kind of picking things that I'm vibing with. This is total artist if I've ever seen one. You know, I don't know why I'm taking out her septum piercing, because she definitely would still wear a septum piercing, but you know what? Whatever, let's just go with it. For sleep, let's choose something a little different. This has artist written all over it. Don't ask me why. All right, <laughs> this is so punk poly, it's not even funny. Let's look at the style looks and see if we can see anything for artists in here. I love this every single time I see it. Uh -huh. So freaking cute. Does it scream artist to me? Not really, but it also depends on what kind of art and it also depends on the personality of the person wearing it. But you know what? I like this and let's yeah. go with that. <laughs> yeah, Zoe. work it girl. All right, for swimwear, let's do something a little bit bold. Yup, that's the look. Oh, Punk Polly is so hot. Okay, let's look at, oh, this is so artist, it's not even funny. Yep. Also, I'm gonna take the nose ring out. Aw. And our winter clothes. Let's see if there's anything cute in our styled stuff. Ooh, this is cute. But with all the flowers on it. Uh huh. Okay, so this is our winter look. And let's cycle through really quick. You know what? It just bothers me that I don't think that that formal outfit works. Let's pick something else. Found it! Okay, so this is totally her formal outfit. It's cute, it's blocky, it's geometric. I think it really fits with the whole aesthetic. Okay, now I gotta change her name from Punk Polly to Angsty Ann. Angsty Ann? Yeah, I like Angsty Ann, guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna upload her to the gallery and let me know what you guys think. Maybe there's something that I could have done better or, you know, whatever. Let me know. And thanks for watching.